everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Carol Haynes. I am the Hadley Postmaster. And along with joining me is our Post Office Operations Acting Manager, Brian Connaughton. And one of my rock star clerks at the Hadley Post Office, some of you may recognize her, is Katie Curtis. So today, we are here to honor some unsung heroes that have helped the town of Hadley during the pandemic. Um, so I'm very excited today to invite all of you here to the Hadley Senior Center. And this is normally coffee with a cop hour, from what I understand. So it kind of falls into that time frame. Um, so 2020 was a year like no other. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, outbreak, our lives changed. Schools, restaurants, stores, and businesses closed. Some people work from home. Some people couldn't work at all. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's turned up. Did the battery die? Anyway, no. Let's try it on this plan, but you want to keep talking, maybe, I mean, it's a pretty good sound in here. If you want to just yeah. talk while I fix. So many people could not work at all. But through it all, one thing was evident. Concern for one another was at an all-time high. And essential workers became heroes. The amazing people that are contributing to getting our lives back to normal. The USPS understands what it means to be essential because we were there every day during the pandemic out there, delivering mail, processing mail, making sure it was still moving. To show, when we showed up when no one else did. And we put forth an extra effort to ensure that the need is met. And we'd like to thank the Hadley Senior Center, the Hadley Police Department, and the Hadley Fire Department for the extra effort that they put in and helped out when it was needed. I chose the Hadley Senior Center, the Hadley Fire Department, for their collaboration, the police department, excuse me, for their collaboration to distribute meals and groceries to seniors in need during the pandemic. And from what I understand, it's still ongoing. So they're still out there delivering. I chose, um, I spoke with Kaylee Wood, the director here of the Senior Center, right there, um, to find out what exactly took place and how came about doing this. She thought, was thinking of a way that she could help the seniors still receive their meals because since this pandemic, the senior center had to close. So they were no longer able to come here to have their meals. So she thought about a program. How could we get this done? So she decided to take orders over the phone or online um, so seniors in need would send in their grocery list orders, and she would make sure that they were shopped for and delivered. But then she was thinking, well, how can I deliver all these to the seniors? So she reached out to the fire department and the police department to help out to make these deliveries. So what the fire department did was they would come in, pick up the list of groceries, um, and I have a list here that was handed to me of some of the things that they bought. Fruits, vegetables, eggs, cheese, uh, rice cake, milk, whatnot. Um, all these things that the seniors could not go out and get themselves. And from what I understand, some of these items were very difficult to, to buy, to purchase, to find. But they went above and beyond... Um, trying to find these items, and they found them and got them and got them delivered. So between April 20 to 2020 and June 2022, they were here once a week. They delivered at least 35 senior households every week to ensure that they had food to eat and to make sure they had all their needs met. And this still continues till today. From what I understand, the fire chief Several of his staff, even his daughter, they, they still go out, purchase food, and deliver them. 
Um, Haley also reached out to the Hadley Police Department to see if they could also help deliver. And what they were delivering, what they volunteered to deliver was the brown bag lunches. Um, they were like the shelf-stable types of food um, that normally like the food pantry had for them. Uh, so they, they were delivering that, but from now on I understand it has shifted that they're still delivering meals on wheels now. Um, the brown bag um, lunches are being delivered by another uh, group. So they're out there delivering the Meals on Wheels. And but um, talking to Lieutenant Cook yesterday, he said that anywhere from three to four officers once a week would get the orders. They would deliver the meals. Some had four or five meals to deliver. And they had up to 15 plus um, meals a week to deliver, which was a really another nice service because some of these people would not have had these uh, staples to be able to eat. So, um, so that's why I nominated them. I mean, not only are they out there every day helping our community, but they really went above and beyond to help during the pandemic. So a special thank you to the Senior Center, to the Hadley Police and Hadley Fire. Thank you. preview of what the stamps are that we are going to be presenting to the Hadley Police and Fire and the Senior Center. Um, so I'll just give you a little bit of the background of each one. Um, so the Senior Center is going to be presented with our thank you stamp. So on August 21st in 2020, the USPS issued a forever stamp that states what everybody is thinking. When they think about the Hadley Fire and Hadley Police and the Hadley Senior Center, um, it's thank you is what they're thinking. So two simple words, they're highlighted in gold, in cursive script, and an elegant floral design swirls through the stamp. Tana, I'm sorry, Dana Tamakachi is the stamp designer and letter, lettering artist. She drew the original sketches by hand and then created the final art digitally. There is a renewed awareness and gratitude of these elegant and joyful stamps. They add a visual appeal to notes, cards, and acts of kindness for jobs well done. The Hadley Police, Fire, and Senior Center are deserving of the thank you for a job well done. You were there for the town of Hadley when they needed it most. So, again, thank you. On September 13, 2018, the United States Postal Service issued a commemorative honoring first responders stamp. Emergencies of various types occur in our communities every day, from fires to medical emergencies to accidents to violent crimes. These critical situations require men and women who possess the training, the knowledge, to rescue the endangered, treat the injured, and restore safety and order. For many, responding to emergencies is their full-time occupation. While others are highly trained volunteers, let us not forget the men and women that receive the calls are dispatchers. We would like to thank you for always being there when needed. The digital illustration of this First responder stamp is a symbolic scene that shows three first responders and profile facing right as they race into action. The first figure is a red firefighter carrying an axe. The second figure is a grayish white EMS worker with the EMS star of life visible on her cap, an upper arm, and an emergency bag. The third figure is a blue law enforcement officer shining a flashlight toward the unknown danger ahead. The dark background and signs of smoke suggest that the wide range of situations that demand the immediate attention of a first responder. The Postal Service recognizes all first responders for their skill, dedication, and uncommon bravery. The commemorative honoring 
first responder stamp has since been has since been, been retired and it's unfortunately no longer available for purchase. At this time, I would like to welcome the Hadley Police and Fire representatives, Chief Mike Spengenable and Lieutenant Mitch Kirk. Huck, sorry, Cook. <laughs> All of you love. <laughs> and um, our senior center representatives, Haley Wood. Would you like Jane to come up as well? Oh, or? Jane, come up. Okay, thanks. Our bottom. We're going to have our stamp unveiling right now. So exciting. Okay. So I think we'll start with the Senior Center unveiling of the thank you stamp. So go ahead and unveil. It's a beautiful, um, perfect for fall this time of year with the colors, but it really represents the thank you, how we feel, and, and well deserving. So, thank you very much. And uh, now, the first responder stamp. That's a beautiful stamp. I love that one. It had, holds a special place in my heart because my husband's also a firefighter, first responder, so very much. Anyway, thank you again. Um, we are going to actually present you with the actual art framed art pieces that you're going to be taking back to your station to hang on your wall. This is for the Hadley Senior Center. So beautiful. This one is for the Hadley Police Department.